Hi, I'm Michael Pfeiffer from Industrial Metallurgists. In this brief video, I'll discuss what is metallurgy. I'll discuss the fundamental concepts behind metallurgy. I'll talk about the historical significance of metallurgy, how it fits in with our technological advances, as well as with our world history. So first I'll pause, my, pause the video. Um, so what is metallurgy? Well, metallurgy is the science of metals. It involves understanding the relationship between the properties of metals and their composition, their microstructure, and manufacturing processes that are used to manipulate and modify metals. Composition refers to the elements that are present in the metals. So, for example, in, in iron and steel alloys, the composition would consist of iron, carbon, manganese, maybe silicon, maybe some nickel or chromium. And in brass alloys, it might consist of copper and some uh, some zinc and maybe some other alloying elements added. Microstructure refers to things that are going on at the microscopic level inside of metals, which includes grains, phases, and arrangements of atoms and other structures. And manufacturing processes refer to the different mechanical and thermal treatments that we use to manipulate and modify metals to get certain properties. By understanding the relationship between properties, composition, microstructure, and manufacturing processes, we are able to develop alloys and uh, develop manufacturing processes capable of producing metals that have very specific properties and that meet the properties requirements for, for different applications. So why is this important? Well, it, this enables us first to be able to develop, to have been able to develop a huge variety of alloys. We have a tremendous number of steel alloys, aluminum alloys, brass, bronze, titanium, and so on. And all these different alloys are, are, arose out of our understanding of the effects of different alloying elements and also thermal and mechanical processes on the, on the microscopic structures inside of metals and the effects on the properties of the metals. Um, so there are a huge variety of alloys that are available for meeting different requirements for different applications. The second thing is our understanding of these alloys and the manufacturing processes and the effects on the properties make, made it possible for, for humans to be able to develop manufacturing processes capable of producing metals in extremely high volumes. So we have all these, we are able to create steel, aluminums, brasses, bronzes, and different alloys in different shapes and produce hundreds of tons of metal per hour using highly capable manufacturing processes that produce metals that consistently meet the requirements for the end users. And finally, the understanding of metallurgy enables us to fabricate and heat treat components to, to, to make components that are used in products and these components have a wide variety of requirements. And by understanding the metallurgy, we can select the right material and select the right manufacturing process to make the, to fabricate the component and to join components. Uh, and, and understanding metallurgy is an important part of being able to do that. Our understanding of metallurgy and just materials in general has enabled world technical advancement in many, many, many different ways. So there was the Stone Age where they had stone tools that were used for hunting and for, for some uh, for, for creating uh, clothing and, and, and some for farming and also, of course, for, for warfare. Then with the Bronze Age, we were able to develop better weapons and better tools for, for farming and for, and for making things. And then with the Iron Age, we developed even better tools for farming of course, also for weapons, for and and then also for for creating structural devices capable of doing things that we couldn't do before, such as you know, making trains and and buildings and other structural devices that required using um, high strength materials. That would be the Iron Age, and now we're in the Silicon Age. All of these these advancements and uh, have been made through the understanding of materials. And, and being able to use those materials to make things that enable the advancement of our civilizations, being able to make more food, build better structures, and have things available to more people that enabled improving people's lives. 
So it's important for people to understand metallurgy to uh, to be able to m design better products, make better engineering decisions, and also solve problems related to metals faster. And I encourage you to do this if you're involved with product design or manufacturing, then making better decisions and solving problems faster when metals are involved is important. And you can learn more about metallurgy through our, our training on our website. We offer courses, videos, podcasts, and articles. The, all of the training is geared to non-metallurgists. So you can go to our website at www.imetllc.com and see more about our training. And on different pages, we are offering some different coupons for getting some of the training at, at lower cost. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email or to call. Thanks for watching and good luck with your medals.